Hello beautiful people and welcome to Beautiful Design. My name is Sandra Diana and this is day nine of my Boot Yourself Countdown to Halloween. I've got a bunch of crafts going on all month. And right now I'm working on these guys. Look familiar much? I thought so. So for this project, what you're gonna need is ground stakes, some foam or craft pumpkins, a little bit of paint, glue sticks and a glue gun, a crafting knife, and a Sharpie. And if you have them on hand, a couple of regular pumpkin carving tools. The kind of pumpkins I got for this project were actually more like gourds that were more of the fall harvest, less of the Halloween type theme dealio. And they were $9.99 at Michael's, but I got them for half off. So they were $5 for six, making each pumpkin less than a dollar. Now I didn't know if they were hollow inside or if they were foam all the way through. And it turns out they were foam all the way through, which made it a little bit more difficult to work with, but I figured it out. Let me show you. So I took this little crafty pumpkin here, very lightweight because it's foam through and through. And at the very, very bottom here, I cut a hole using a regular old pumpkin carving knife. I cut it on the diagonal, like if you're cutting an actual pumpkin and you cut the top off and you want it to go back on. So I cut it at a diagonal in a full circle and I popped off this little wooden piece right here under my thumb. And then I scraped out the inside, just like a little column. Now that I think about it, you might actually be able to use an apple core. If anyone out there uses an apple core successfully, let me know. So once the bottom was out and I had the inside, for the most part, hollow, I did the same kind of cut at the top. Now I didn't make it a perfect circle. It doesn't need to be a perfect circle because these guys are gonna get stakes through the head. So I just cut it around and I kept it to the side, again, cutting at an angle inward. And then I took one of the spikes and put it right up the bottom. See, just like that. I stuffed the top inside the top here. This helps keep the pumpkin in place. To add some extra security, I went ahead and filled the hole with hot glue. And now this thing is not going anywhere. Then I drew faces with Sharpie. This guy's going, oh my God, I just got a spike through the head. Ugh. That's what he's thinking. Then I took my little crafty knife and I only let that much out. And I traced along the edges of where I drew. Then I took my carving knife and I popped out all the little pieces so that they were only about this deep. And then I painted them yellow because I'm not going to light them from the inside because I didn't want to cut all the way through. But they're going to be placed near string lights so they'll still be uplit very beautifully. Also, if you notice, they're on different levels of the spike. This one's near the top, this one's about an inch and a half down, this guy's right on the spike. And I did that to make it look like they all plopped down on Pumpkin Scream in the Dead of Night. Now usually there's only four pumpkins. Pumpkin Scream in the Dead of Night, yeah. So there's four pumpkins in the opening for This is Halloween, which is really informing my design decisions as far as the patio goes, because that's where these guys are going. But our patio railing is really long and we have seven spots for these. So four would make them really spread out because they're teeny tiny pumpkins. If we had bigger pumpkins and bigger spikes, we could probably just do four but I wanted to do seven and they all have different faces and different personalities. Because everyone reacts differently to getting a spike shoved through their head, apparently. <sighs> so these guys are drying from an orange coat of paint. I'm gonna go ahead and touch up the yellow parts and then paint some brown up here on the stem and these guys should be good to go. You can also see where I've dripped some paint onto these black spikes here. Not to worry, I can just scrape those off with my thumbnail, and if not, I'll just cover it up with black paint. That brings our grand total to $15 for a whole mess of really awesome pumpkins. Now I know I didn't get to show you a lot of step-by-step -step instructions, and that's because I'm missing my tripod. And my fiance happens to be at work today, so I've got no one to hold the camera for me, except me. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments down below. As for me, I'm gonna go ahead and finish these little pumpkin guys. If you wanna see the finished product, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel so you can see when I post the entire patio makeover video in just a few days. Until next time, have a beautiful day.